This video will walk you through the process of submitting a time off request. Log in into your employee portal and select time and attendance. This will open up a window with your time and attendance employee dashboard. On the dashboard, you can access the time management gadget. You can see how many hours you have available on, at the top of the gadget. In this case, the employee has vacation hours and they have eight hours available. You can review the request status of previous requests that you have submitted. The red X mark indicates that the request has been declined. And the green check mark indicates that your request has been approved. In order to submit a new request, click on Request Leave. And on that window, select the template. In this case, I'm going to request vacation hours. You can request hours for only one day. Click on the calendar and select the date you would like to take off. And then include or type in the hours needed. For example, eight hours. You can include a message to your supervisor for them to see and read when they received your request. This section is optional. And then click Submit. You can also select multi-day if you would like to request consecutive days off. In this example, click multi-day and let's say that I'm going to request 12, 11 through 12, 13. And select how many hours per day you would like to request. Then click Submit. Your supervisor will receive an email notification letting them know that there's a request in the system for them to review. Once your manager has reviewed your request, you will receive an email notification to the email that we have on file. You can also access that message from your dashboard. There's a gadget with your messages at the bottom of your page. You can also access your messages by clicking the envelope icon at the top of your page. This will open up a list of your inbox with the messages from your manager. You can click on the request message, and in this case, it will tell you that your request has been approved for your vacations they requested on 12-6 and for 12-7. Going back to the dashboard, you can also review the messages from the message section. And it will also take you to the same inbox page. If you would like to access your accruals and have a detailed view of your available balance, click on the action bar. Select attendance, accrual history. This will open up a section with your accruals. In this case, the employee has eight hours available. You can expand the selection with the plus sign. This will show you detailed information on your accruals and requests. In this example, 
you can see hours that have been used. For instance, on 12-21st, there's eight hours that have been used, and the notes will read usage. And the column with available balance has updated to my current available balance after all of my approved requests have been already approved by my manager or supervisor. You can bookmark this section by clicking on the left top corner of your tab. Once you see the star, that means that you have successfully bookmarked your page. And the next time that you log in, if you would like to see the detailed information, you can directly click on accruals and it will take you to your accruals. Going back to the dashboard, let's say that I would like to see a calendar view of the request. You can also access this information by clicking on your action bar, click scheduler, calendar request. And you will see a calendar with each month and there's a color-coded time of request. In this case, all the pending requests, meaning that you have submitted and your supervisor has not handled that request yet, will be in yellow. Approved requests will be in green. And the client request will be red. If we look into the calendar, I have two approved requests for November, and there's some that were declined by my manager. You can see future approved request time off that have been already submitted and reviewed by your manager. If you click on that request, you will be able to see it on a weekly calendar. If you would like to remove or cancel your request, click on the X next to the hours to remove the approved request. A window will open, confirm the message, click OK, and save your changes. Your supervisor will receive a notification letting them know that the approved request has been now removed. Click OK to confirm. Your entry has been saved. This concludes the training for employees requesting paid time off.